here it says find all real zeros of the function. Uh, well, the first thing, just like we did before, is to set it equal to zero. Change the y value to the zero. Uh, because we're finding the zeros, that's the same thing as finding x-intercepts. And then I'm going to write down my p's and q's and my combinations of those and go. That's, that's, so that's what I'm going to do next. The factors of 30 are just plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 3, yeah, 4, no, 5, yes, plus or minus 5, plus or minus 6, yes, plus or minus 7, no, 8, no, 9, 9 maybe? No. Uh, plus or minus 10, yes, right? 2 and 10, and then plus or minus... 15, and then plus or minus uh, 30, right? 1 times 30, 2 times 15, 3 times 10, 5 times 6. Yes, there we go. Got them all. The next thing is to write down my Q's, uh, and that's just plus or minus 1. I love it when the, the first coefficient is just 1, because then I don't really have to, I like my P divided by Q, P over Q, that's the same thing as just P. And then that only happens when Q is 1. So really, I don't have to rewrite anything. And I can just start testing. So I'm going to test. Here we go. Test uh, with X, uh, let's say, plus 1. So test that. And I'm going to use a negative 1. All the same steps. And here we go. 1, 10, 31, and 30. 1, 10, 31, and 30. That's 1, negative 1. Uh, that's 9, negative 9, 31 minus 9, 22, and then I know that's not going to work. Okay, uh, test x minus 1, which is a 1 there. And I, I think I know this one's not going to work. 1, 10, 31, 31, that's 1, 11, 11. I never even get a negative. I know that's not going to work. Because I want a negative 30, but this it's I'm never getting a negative. So in fact, when I do x minus, that's never going to happen. So really, I can just test the positives, because uh, like the x plus 2, and the x plus 3, and the x plus 4. If you don't understand that, you can just check them all. But uh, right now, I'm going to test x, what did I say, plus, plus 2, which means I'm testing negative 2. Hopefully you understand why I'm, I want to have a negative there, because these are all positive numbers. I'll never get anything that cancels out if I don't use a negative. So 1, 10, 31, 30. This would be 1, negative 2. This would be 8, negative 16. This will be 15, negative 30. hey -oh. That worked out. So... That's my constant, my x, my x squared. So my new polynomial with a semi-factored is x plus 2, right, from that, times just 1x squared plus 8x plus 15. And I know that equals 0 because it was equal to 0 up here. Whoops, here. So I'll try and use my x on this. Uh, 15, 8... What is that? 3 times 5? Yes. 3 and 5. Look at that. x plus 2 times x plus 3 times x plus 5. Easy. x equals negative 2. x equals negative 3. x equals negative 5. There we go. I'm just setting each piece equal to 0 and solving. So actually, it's not too bad it's not that bad. Um, all right, goodbye.